put words to it. I mean, it was so exciting. And, um, I think I was still up about three o'clock in the morning trying to get it, it round it. But they were absolutely magnificent, you know. And, it, you know, they've been like that all, in every game. Um, the better the team, the better we become. And it's been fantastic. Well, it takes me back 50 years ago, you know, in Barcelona, the excitement then. You know, if the players are feeling half as excited as I was then, then it's going to be a really, really good night. I think it's always something to look forward to. I mean, we were always told, you know, there isn't a Rangers side that's won a European trophy. So if you do win it, you're going to be legends for the rest of your life. It'd be like, yeah, yeah, heard all about it. Here we are 50 years later and they're still thinking about us. And I think that's what you've got to put on to this Rangers team now. You know, you've only been together a short time, but if you win this, this European trophy, fans will remember you for the next 50 years. And that's, and that's what it's all about. They've just got to get themselves wound up for this game. You're one of the Rangers players, of course, who has experienced and enjoyed playing in a European final. What can the Giovanni Van Bronckhorst squad, what can they expect right now? How will they be feeling just now? I never thought about it, because I think you probably get too excited. So you just took it as another game. And the preparations that Wally Waddle done, I mean, you knew exactly what you were doing. But that's the way it is. I mean, you would kick your granny the way you prepared you for games. You don't get in the final unless you're a good side. We're the same. You know, so we've got a chance. That's the main thing. It's a case of getting the right attitude. You know, get yourself really wound up for this. This is the big one. This is why there'll be thousands and thousands of Rangers fans in Spain. Because a lot of them didn't see Barcelona. They're far too young for that. They want to see Rangers win a European trophy. And what a chance we've got to do that. You can't beat the fans. I mean, especially when you're scoring goals and you're beating teams that you're not supposed to beat. Um, I think they knew and felt exactly how we all felt, you know, it's absolutely magnificent. And um, I only hope that we carry it and finish it so as we can all enjoy it, take the pressure off of us Barcelona boys. It was a wonderful occasion, Barcelona, and it's something I'll never forget. I maybe you don't know what I was doing last week at times, but 50 years ago I know exactly what we were doing. I remember the, going to the game and there were thousands of Rangers fans banging on the bus as we're going into the stadium. You know, and after it we couldn't get out because they were still there, you know. The fans on the pitch, the three go in a three goal lead, we thought, oh, this is this is easy. We maybe took our foot off the, the pedal a wee bit and lost a couple of goals, but well, we're never ever going to lose a third. I never ever felt that we we're going to lose a third. And it's the most wonderful occasion when you've the referee blows that whistle finally when he puts the two hands up and says, over, you've won a European trophy. The first Rangers team to do that. They could do that, this, this present team now as well. They could be the second team to do it and they will be absolute legends if they do that. That's what they've got to keep in their minds. Like it. Ten years ago, you know, where were we? We are playing Forfar and Brechin and Annan, teams like that. And here we are a decade later, we're in the final of a European trophy. Absolutely fantastic. These players have got to make it happen. You put on a blue jersey and you've got to produce 150. You know, I mean, that's it. Once you get that on, the engines are gone. Let's go.